We are counting down the days until this weekend. Susan G. Komen Global Race for the Cure. And tonight we introduce you to another survivor. The breast cancer survivor was handed a double dose of news. Natasha Barrett is here to share her story. Well, guys, it's tough enough to deal with one piece of devastating news, but this DC woman you're about to hear from had to deal with two back to back days of really conflicting emotions. At 34, Rita Trawick was a busy mother of two young boys and was going to the University of DC full time. Then came two surprises. It's a blessing to be able to sit and 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 share my story. Trawick was diagnosed with breast cancer last year. Doctors told her the cancer was spreading so quickly she needed to double mastectomy. The very next day, she discovered she was also three months pregnant. I did not want to let the cancer or the thought of having cancer get me down. I had a lot of faith there where, okay, Let's just go through with it. Let's do what we need to do. Trawick had the surgery and started chemotherapy once doctors said it would be safe for her unborn daughter. We took the risk. We took the, you know, um, you know, we knew, we kind of knew that it, they, they were going to make sure we were okay, me and the baby. In November, little Malia was born healthy. Trawick just celebrated being cancer free and is helping other survivors through treatment with the cancer support group DC Pink Divas. I didn't focus on the problem, I focused on the solution. And the solution was, okay, I want to live. I have a baby. I have two other boys at home. I have a husband. I have, you know, I have a, a life ahead of me that I wanted to accomplish. She is an inspiration to so many other women. Rita has a lot to celebrate this week. Saturday, she graduates, uh, graduates from UDC. She says she hopes to be a psychologist, and she'll also participate in the Komen Global Race for the Cure that day, rounding it out Sunday with Mother's Day, spending it with her three children. Allison. Mm.